Some time ago I made a video about blurring faces in After Effects, or, or pixelating them actually. Sort of tracking the face as it moves and creating this mosaic over it to cover up the person behind it. And as I said in my previous video, I've been over the past six months sort of transitioning over to DaVinci Resolve instead of Premiere Pro, which is my, or used to be my usual editing software. So I was thinking, it might be nice to try to do uh, this face blurring thing in DaVinci Resolve, because I have a feeling that it's going to be pretty easy. Maybe even easier, or at least more straightforward than it would be to do in After Effects. Now, as of recording this, I have not yet tried to do this myself, but I have used some of the tools uh, that I think will be important for this uh, already for different projects. I've used the tracking window, masks in DaVinci, magic masks. The face refinement tool. So I think at least a couple of these, if not even all of them, can blur faces uh, in some way. So, I'm thinking, we'll get some footage of me moving around a little bit, we'll import that into DaVinci Resolve and just try to uh, track mask and blur out some faces. Let's get some footage of me walking around here uh, with a face uh, that needs to get blurred. <laughs> I'm just kidding, there are no stairs here. There's an elevator. Ah, my legs. I think I have uh, embraced myself um, more than enough, and we, we should definitely, definitely blur my face in that footage. Yeah. Um, all right, let's just have a look at the footage. I'm just kidding, there are no stairs here. There's an elevator. <laughs> well, we've had a look at the footage, and uh, let's just say that face needs to be blurred. Uh, for many reasons. I'm going to, uh, I'm in the edit tab right now, but I'm going to jump over to the color tab. I've already added uh, just a little grade on here so it looks nicer. I think the easiest way to do this is create a new node. Uh, Alt S, I'm sure you know already. I'm just gonna open up the effects window. Uh, and I'm going to jump down to the, yeah, let's try this one. And I'm just going to create a little circle around my face. Ask that out a little bit. Something like that. I'm going to jump over to the tracker window. I'm going to turn off Perspective 3D because I think if that's on, it's sort of going to try to stick to my face where it is right now. So if I would be turning, it's going to follow me like that. And we don't want that because we want the blur to, you know, cover the face at all times. So let's just track this to the beginning. All right, had some problems here. I am incredibly impressed by uh, Da Vinci's tracker though. It, it never goes this quick to track anything in After Effects. Let's just gonna see if we can help it a little, a little bit. Track one frame at a time, just in case. Mm, let's go back. Let's do one frame at a time for this. There we go. That looks, uh, it looks okay. Um, I'm just gonna go back to our first key. Oh, is that because I turned it? See, I'm learning. Is that? Okay, okay. We'll be right. Try it the other way. <laughs> All right. Uh, not bad, not bad. Uh, the track is done. I think that's quite, it's quite all right. Uh, let's go up to the effects window again and let's search for, um, I mean, this depends on what type of blur you want to do. Um, we can just throw a box blur on here just for fun. 
just gonna turn this off so you see the entire effect. Uh, just turn up the strength, there we go. There's... <laughs> yep, that's a... Uh, I'm a little bit, maybe this is just because of my mask. Uh, can I do this now? Let's try. I don't know if it's gonna happen. Yeah, that works. I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger. <laughs> that looks great. That's a that's a blurred out face. I feel I feel a lot better now. Um, but let's just try. We'll turn off this box blur and we'll search for mosaic blur. I think that'll be a little bit closer to what I did in the After Effects version. Let's see, we could probably, is this the size? No, yeah, here we go. That's not bad. <laughs> that looks really good. Now obviously my, tr like, my circle sort of goes on the outside of my face. That's because this thing isn't, you know, I didn't do this perfectly. So obviously you can adjust this to your heart's desire. You see my eye a little bit, but overall I think that's pretty good. That was really easy. Let's try one more just because I'm curious because I haven't done this. I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to create a new one. Uh, I want to try mm -hmm, mm -hmm, the magic mask. So let's just jump to a... That's a good face to start on. I'm just going to draw a little circle one. A little circle on my face. And I think Da Vinci. I'll hit this button right up here. Yeah, there we go. See? That's the face. We have to track this as well. So we've tracked this backwards. Let's see how that works out. <laughs> Looks pretty trippy. There's a floating head. I think this is even better because it actually finds the head perfectly. I mean, obviously, this is using. Um, some machine learning, some AI to know what a face looks like. So far, it's a lot better than the mask I drew in the previous example. <laughs> Very nice, look at this. Look at this guy. I'm just gonna jump back to the middle and we'll track it forward as well. That's awesome. Now the question is, we have our head. Perfect, I'm just gonna turn this off. Uh, I'm just gonna throw our mosaic blur straight on there. Now look at that. Wow. That's amazing. Look at that. I'm just gonna play that through. Look at this guy. They're a little bit too big. It's gonna make them a little bit smaller. What's this then? Oh, I see. <laughs> I think that's really good. Very nice. I mean, it kind of gets a little bit weird when uh, my face turns to the side, but I think I still prefer this version. You can probably just play around with the, with this mask. Turn this off a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Radius. Okay, make that a little bit larger. Circle iteration. Oh, there we go. So we'll turn. We'll change this to grow. We'll raise the iterations a little bit, so we'll get this sort of safe area. And if we turn this back on now, yep, the mask has grown a little bit. Yeah, it's a lot better. That's nice. <laughs> Look at this guy. He can be as embarrassing as he wants now. I was gonna know. I'm just kidding. I'm no stairs here. There's an elevator. <laughs> yep. I'm really happy with that. That was actually even a lot easier. A lot easier than I thought it would be. Easier, faster, better result even. Um, so I would, uh, in the future, I would definitely do that here instead of After Effects, for sure. For sure. All right, uh, I'm pretty sure that's it for um, this video. I do hope that you picked up something useful from this video. Uh, I know that I sure did. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, feel free to uh, like. 
to a like, to like and subscribe for more in the future, and to help out the channel. That'd be, um, that'd be swell. I hope you don't have to blur your face too often. All right, uh, it's time to go. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye now.